Hello, this is a brief demonstration of the Retro Deluxe CRT effect for Unity. So I have a scene here with an image of two cats. And uh, if I select my main camera here, I have attached the script CRT image effect that you can find in the package in the code folder. It has uh, basically three main sections. You have the top section here where you can change your preset. You can just switch around here. So uh, let me show you a bit about how this works. Uh, this section here is the um, CRT part of the effect, so to speak. Let me just move this inspector around here. So you can uh, select how much CRT effect you want. Basically, it converts the uh, image to uh, pixels with three colors, red, green and blue. You have a few different patterns you can choose from here. And some of them have um, the areas of black in between the pixels here. So like if I use these extreme settings here at 100%, it look, doesn't look really good. But if I reduce the black amount slider a bit, I can bring in a bit of the original color in between the pixels. So that kind of allows me to have a higher setting on the CRT amount without making the image like look too bad. Another way is to bring up the black amount and then just take the CRT amount down. Or uh, not to overdo the effect, so to speak. So then we have uh, the borders, uh, trails and the screen distortion. So the borders is basically uh, the gray border you can see now. I can change the color and I can uh, tweak the size and the shape. And uh, basically it will conform to whatever settings you have in the distortion part here. So if I tweak the shape here, it will follow the shape. So let's talk a little bit about the distortion. If I have a strong pattern here in the CRT settings, and then I shift the distortion, I can basically I can choose if I want the distortion to apply before or after the uh, CRT pattern. So if I choose after, then I will get these uh, patterns here, moiré patterns. I don't know how to pronounce them, but if I change these uh, settings here, the patterns here will also change, which kind of looks cool. But if you don't want those patterns, you can just set it to pre instead, and then they will not be visible. Let's take a brief look at the trails part here. If I uh, press play here and make the camera move around a bit, then I can bring in the trails here. So um, if I uh, choose white as a color on the trails, the trails will have the color as the original image has. Let's see here if I can uh, bring in another test image here. So here's a little bit better example. You can see here the yellow parts here are yellow and the green is green, etc. There are a few settings here. Uh, you can choose uh, how you want to blend in the trails uh, and you can choose if you want them to be activated pre or post the uh, color effects here 
uh, which can uh, bring a few different results. So here we have a custom effects area and you can add however many effects you want and shift the order of them and so forth. And so let's choose here. Um, there are a bit over 20 effects. Some of them are the same effect with a, f a little difference. Uh, so uh, there are some basic ones like saturation and brightness. And then you have um, a few creative effects. You have a few different bit crushing effects that basically take each component and reduce the number of bits in that component. So you can kind of customize your palette. Then you have the bias control here, which basically controls the bright general brightness of the effect. So uh, if you, for example, if you're uh, using one of the presets in your own game and you, it looks too dark or too bright, then you can find the bias control in the custom effects. And then you can kind of fine tune. So it matches your art. There are a few other effects here. A few different kind of disturbance uh, like effects. These uh, look best if you play when you edit them. Uh, if I make this static here. Yeah, so there's tons of options here. And uh, basically the point of this is to combine a few different of these to get more of a complex effect going. So you add a few of these. Let's add a little bit of um, snow crash. All right, so now let me show you how to use the scripting uh, part of the effect. I'm going to just bring this down first to zero. So we have a neutral image. And then I go into scripting and then uh, I add a new multifader. So this is basically one fader that you can connect a lot of parameters to. So let's use the first parameter here to add some disturbance back. And then the second one to add a little bit of snow crash. 
So the idea is basically that you turn the fader up and then you tweak the effect. And then you can turn it back down again and you can uh, use scripting to uh, move this in your game. So let's add another one here to add a little bit of brightness. So let's do add this one back up so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna go tweak the snow crash a bit. Okay, so I go back here and tweak it a little bit more. And then I can bring the effect in when I want to. Uh, let's add another one. Uh, I'm gonna add a um, vignette, vignette type effect. Basically, um, you can make the corners dark and you can tune the effects. So basically I'm gonna just leave it here. And then I can tweak it here. So let's just bring this up so I can see what I'm doing again. Add another one to control the smoothness. So let's see how it looks. So I can use this as sort of a transition thing. So now I got some disturbance here. And transition here so um, yeah that's a short introduction okay bye bye